In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to take a good blood sample using the finger prick method. And that enables you to take some studies, some lab tests you can do in the convenience of your home without going to a blood collection facility. You can do that right at your home. You want to be able to mail this on the same day that you take the blood sample. So pick a day that you can do that. Some of the things that you'll find in your kit, you'll find a lancet device, a microtube for collecting the blood, a band-aid for afterwards, and an alcohol swab. So, and there'll be a plastic bag also. There'll be another with an absorbent pad in it. There'll also be a tube for holding this for shipping back. And a label, another envelope for, for mailing back. In this video, I want to concentrate on how to take the blood sample. Everyone can do a paperwork. That's been done by many people. But not everybody has actually done a blood sample using the finger prick method before. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. Alright, so let's start here. This has a little hole in here. It's actually really convenient. So you can take a book or a box or something like that, set it up here. We can use that for staging our collection. It's really handy here. Nurse showed me this a while back. It was really convenient here. And so I'm going to just open this up, get the lid here, and set that right in there. That works real good there. And you can see right there, so I have that set up. Now you want to wash your hands really good before you do this, so they're nice and clean. No chance of contamination there. So you want to wash your hands. You don't want cold hands. You want to be warm. You may want to drink a glass of water about 15 minutes before you're doing this, so you're well hydrated. So warm hands and hydration help make this a lot easier for you. Cold hands and being dehydrated make it really hard. So after you've washed your hands, you go wash your hands, make them nice and warm. Pick a finger. You can use one of the two fingers on the left hand or one of the two fingers on the right hand. I like doing the right hand first. If I run out of fingers, I can do the other one. But in this case, you're doing just one finger. So you want to pick one here. All right, and the side. You're going to pick a side that's away from your thumb, like right here is a good spot, right there, or right here on this finger. That works really well. On the other hand, on the right hand, be right over there, away from your thumb, here. Because what you're going to do is you're going to prick it there, then that's going to drip down into the tube here. So you want the side that's easier down so you don't have to turn your finger, your arm around upside down and stand on your head. It's really hard that way. You can do it, but it's not as easy. Alright, so we're trying to make this easy for you here. So we want to do that there. So let's take the alcohol swab, wipe up my finger off here a little bit. And some people say, oh, this, I'm going to use the middle finger here this time. So wipe that side there, let that dry a little bit. And after I prick my finger, I'm going to wipe it off again with that, that alcohol swab. Now there's a couple of different lancets. One of them twists off the other blue one. This one pulls straight out. This is a single-use lancet, so you can't practice with it. All right, you get one swing at it. They work really well, so it's not. Really, you don't have to worry about it not working here. So you just want to set it, your finger on the table, press the lancet device in the right spot, and pick your spot carefully that you picked there. Set it there. This one you're going to push till you hear it click. Same one with the other one too. You just push till you hear it click. Don't let up until it clicks. Okay, there's a little click there. I get a little drop of blood and I'll wipe that first drop off with the alcohol swab. Okay, you don't want to touch your finger onto the, the micro container here. Okay, just you want to get a hanging drop of blood there. Alright, you get that hanging drop of blood and the blood can touch there. Okay, like that. And let it run down. Alright, so there's was standing on my head a little bit. Get that in there. Alright, pause in between, let the microcapillaries fill the blood again. Now you can squeeze that out and get another drop there. There you go. You're aiming for the first line that says 250 or just a clear line. That's 250, that's what you're looking for. You get a nice sample there. There, get another drop there. Now it looks like I need a little bit more, so I'm going to get another drop. Just squeeze gently, you don't have to squeeze very hard. It's good to get all the way around the finger to squeeze that out. There, and just drop that in there. Yeah, it's working pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and get another drop. And just let that hang there a little bit, see it? And it just falls in. There you go, I got plenty. Well, I feel generous today, so I'm going to give the lab one more drop. 
and just let that drop off. And you can wipe off your finger there. You may want to take a, a tissue to wipe off your finger and make sure it doesn't keep on bleeding. Sometimes people have trouble bleeding afterwards, much more than before. So you can take a tissue and just hold it on there, put some direct pressure on there for a few minutes so that it stays okay. So you just take your micro container there, put the lid on it carefully and you want to invert that about eight to ten times. And that will keep the anticoagulant mixed there so your blood doesn't coagulate before it gets to the lab and cause a lot of trouble and then they can't do your analysis for you. There you go. So it runs down there. So a little bubble in there. You can see there, that's a nice blood sample. They can, they can work with that. It's just around 250. There's a bubble on the top. Shake it up. Yeah, it's a little over 250. Now you can put that into your protective tube. Put that into the plastic bag with the absorbent in it. Put that into your mailer. Put all your paperwork in there. Send it back. Make sure you sign everything you need to sign. All right, get your paperwork done. You get your lab results back, and it won't come back and say insufficient sample because you've given them a good sample. Now you know how to do that. Don't touch your finger to the side of it. Just let the blood run down. Get a nice hanging drop and drop it down there. That's the main key there. Get a good finger prick and let the blood touch. Don't touch your finger because it slides all over the place. You can get a big area that's full of blood, and it doesn't drop very well at all. So that's it. Thank you for watching.